Hi lovelies. Oh my gosh, how do I still have morning voice? Woo! Okay, so a few things are different from my last makeup tutorial. First being that I had my hairstylist cut all of my hair off and I have never felt better. Seriously, to this day, this is by far my favorite haircut on myself. Second thing, I got my nose pierced for the second time. I had it pierced two years ago and then I took it out because I'm an idiot and then I got it re-pierced. Also, I can't wait to get my hoop because I'm sick of the studs sticking out of my nose. Anyway. That, that didn't make it any better. Anyway. So I did a certain makeup technique the other day. I used a different palette, different colors, but I didn't want to do the same look again because I was going to work and I didn't want everyone to see me doing the exact same makeup look two days in a row, but I got so many compliments on my makeup and how it was blended and blah, 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 blah. Never gotten that many compliments in my life on my makeup. So I was like, okay, I have to film a tutorial on this look. So I will, um, someday very soon, I will film that exact tutorial. Um, but today I did the exact same technique. I just used different colors. I went for like this greenish, olive green look. The other day I used like turquoise and blue and it was a lot more pop. This is a lot more subtle. You can't really see the technique as well just because all the colors blend I think a little too well together. But you can still see the gradual light to medium to darkish color. We have this really sharp line, sharp crease. So anyway, if you wanna see how I get this look, keep watching the video. If you like what you see and you want to, you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you can see more of my videos in the future. And without further ado, let's just get into it. P.S. I'm gonna look a lot more scrungy, gr grungy, gr scr uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, mm, not put together. So, you know, don't be like, mm -hmm. <laughs> when I go from like, done, to what you're about to see. Okay, just don't judge, be kind, and I'll see you later. So the big thing that is really going to give you that blended look is using tape. So I go ahead, I put the tape on the back of my hand first, and then I just kind of rip it off a couple times so that it doesn't like stick to your eye and like tear at your eye. And then I'm just going to line them up at the corner of my eye and place it down and make sure that it's laid down enough that it's not going to come up when you're like using your brushes. I'm just gonna pin my bangs out of the way. I'm also trying to grow my bangs out so it's a process. But yeah, this is the main thing that really, really helps. So what I always do, especially when you're doing looks like this, and I should have done this before I put the tape on, but oh well, is prime my eyelids. Guys, if you don't prime your eyelids, your eyeshadow, I promise you, will not last. And you will have done all of that hard work for nothing. Nada. Zilch. And that's not good. We don't want that. It's like taking your makeup off at the end of the day. It's like, oh my gosh, I'm just like uh, throwing a bucket of water on a masterpiece in an art gallery. You know what I'm saying? I mean, maybe it's not the exact same thing. <laughs> Where's my coffee? Oh, crrr. Yesterday I used my Morphe 39A Day or Two Create palette, but today I'm going to use my Morphe 39B palette because I want to use these greens. Um, and I'm going to stay more in like the like more neutral. I'm not gonna use this color today. We're gonna keep it very sultry. Okay, so anyway, here we go. First thing I did was take a Morphe 573 brush, which is this really big fluffy brush, and I actually go into a brown color like this. I don't have the shade names and I don't have time to find the paper because I only have like 40 minutes to film because I have to go to work. Um, yeah, so, mm -hmm. see that's always my problem is I sleep in 
And I don't mean to. I set my alarm very early, but then I just turn them all off. And then I sleep in later because I'm so dang tired. But then I don't leave myself enough time in the morning. It's just, it's a whole process. But anyway, you are taking that color all the way. You're almost creating like a V shape into the tape and then up high into the crease and then into the inner corner. And it's also important to note that the angle that you put your tape on is going to affect where the shadow is. So if I were to take the tape and angle it more upwards like this, you're gonna get a really dramatic up line. If you angle it further out this way, you're going to get it obviously out further on your eyelid. So just keep that in mind too. And basically what we are going to do is just build gradually down further and use darker and darker and darker shades. So next I'm going to take this green color right here on a Morphe 532 brush and I am just going to do the exact same thing, just not taking it up as high, but I'm taking it all the way to the tape, into the crease and into the inner corner. On a Morphe 514 brush, I am going to take this green color right here. See how we're just going from transition to lightest green, dark green, and eventually we're going to get to this green color. But for right now we're taking this color, which is like this really pretty olive green, and literally doing the exact same thing. We're taking it a little bit more into the outer corner of the eyelid still in the crease and still taking it into the inner corner. Before I get to the darkest green shade, I'm going to take a Morphe 421 brush and dip into my NYX eyeshadow base in white. And I am going to carve out my lid for the light shimmery green color, making sure to take it all the way in the inner corner, find where my crease is, and blend it outward about three quarters of the way on the lid. Okay, so now that our lid is nice and carved, so I'm first going to veer away from the palette just for a second. I'm going to take this Anastasia Beverly Hills Single Eyeshadow in the color Tiger's Eye. And on a Morphe 124 brush, I'm going to dip into that color, obviously. Take some water and spray it so it makes it more pigmented. And then I'm going to work it on the inner corner and about halfway into where we carved out our lid because we are going to put a darker shimmery green blending into that. Okay, so as you can see, we still have this middle section available. So now I'm going back into my Morphe palette and I'm going to take this green color right here which is a darker green. Same thing, I'm going to spray it, and then I'm going to blend that in the middle. You know what, it's not really very contrasting, so I'm going to take this darker green color as well. I'm also going to put that in the center. Yeah, that helped. And now, this is where the magic happens. On a Morphe 431 brush, I am going to take this darkest green color right here, and I'm going to start in the outer corner and blend it in as if I'm using it as my eyeliner, and I'm taking it out along the glue, or the, the tape, and then I'm creating this V 
formation and I'm going to start taking it into the crease a little bit. Now just for the heck of it, I'm going back in with that big fluffy brush and that first brown transition color and I'm just lightly going to go back over the top so that we don't really lose that color up there. Okay, and now the most satisfying part is taking the tape off and look at that sharp, crisp line. Mm, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I want some more of it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Watch. Mmm. Yes, baby. And there is that. Obviously, we're not done, but I'm going to quickly do my face makeup off camera, and then I will come back, and we will finish up the eyes, and do our lipstick, and then we will be done, okay? Boom. Done. Face makeup, done. Brows, done. Now let's finish up the eyeshadow and the mascara and then the lips and then we're done. Going back into this palette, we're going to take this brown color again on the same thick fluffy brush and we're just going to blend it out underneath the lower lash line. Okay, now I'm going to take this olive green color on a Morphe 507 brush. And I'm just going to blend that in the outer corner and connect it into the shadow on the upper lid. Just so that there's no disconnect there. On a small, this is an e.l.f. crease brush. I'm going to go back into that tiger's eye color and I'm also going to blend that out along the lower lash line. Mainly just on like the inner corner to about halfway. Yesterday I wore falsies, but you know what? I don't have time for that today. And I think I need new eyelash glue because about halfway through the day, my eyes just burn from, I think, the lash glue. So... I gotta figure that situation out. But anyway, I'm going to take the Rimmel Scandalize Eyeliner Pencil in black and just line my upper and lower lash line. The next best thing next to false lashes is using this L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Primer before you apply your mascara. I'm telling you guys, this stuff is life-changing. And now my favorite of all time ever mascara, like literally my favorite I use in all my videos, is the Essence False Lashes Mascara. Seriously, Essence, you should just sponsor me by now. I could be the face of your False Lashes Mascara because I use it literally all the time and I just rave about it and I think it's so amazing because it is so amazing. Because it literally lives up to its name where like it makes you look like you're wearing falsies when you're not. Look at that. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 So, per usual, I'm going to take my Jordana Rock and Rose Lip Liner. And I'm going to... My dry, crusty lips. I told you guys I have an excessive lipstick collection. It just never ends. So, I'm going to pick something from here. Is that too dark? Is that this color? I'm going to take this color. It is a Maybelline matte lipstick in the color 550 Honey Pink. This is basically like a Your Lips but better color on me. It goes on nice and creamy, even though it's a matte lipstick. And, um, 
I'm actually going to top it a little bit with this Maybelline Matte Lipstick in Purely Nude. Just putting that in the center. Yeah, I like that combo. Okay, so I will be right back with <clears throat> accessories and an outfit change and looking not like the S. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. I have some earrings in. I changed my shirt, looking a little, little less frumpy. Um, but this is the completed look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and leave comments down below. I love when you guys comment. Um, and... That's all I have for you. So thank you for watching. I don't think I'll ever not be bad at editing these videos. So just bear with me, okay? It's just who I am. So. Anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next tutorial. Okay, bye.